Sighting in a scoped rifle is a simple process. Let me show you how I do it. This scope was mounted back at the shop. The base and ring screws were properly torqued and the crosshairs leveled. I also set the scope as far forward as possible for maximum eye relief. The first step is to bore sight this gun the old fashioned way. Remember, bore sighting is not a substitute for properly sighting in your rifle. The target is set up at 25 yards. You can see I have a large piece of cardboard as a backer just to make sure I can see where the bullet hits. With the bolt out, I look down the bore and center the bullseye. Then, without moving the rifle, I adjust the crosshairs to the center of the target. And fire one shot. Here's the next step. With the gun still in the rest and the crosshairs on the bullseye, I turn the turrets as necessary to move the crosshairs to the bullet hole. The gun must not move during this process. I shoot again to verify that the rifle is nearly sighted in at 25 yards and make any minor adjustments. Now a fresh target is set up at 100 yards. With the crosshair centered on the bullseye, I fire another shot. Looks pretty good. I adjust the elevation to bring the point of impact two inches above the center of the target, then adjust the windage to the center. Now, I can feel comfortable shooting out to about 300 yards. Then, I'll fire a few test screws. For guns like this Ruger 1022 that you can't see through the barrel from the back, a bore sighter like this one can be used. The process for sighting in the gun is the same. I get it on paper at 25 yards, but since this is a rim fire, I move the target back to only 50 yards. After the first shot, I can make any needed adjustments, then shoot for a group. I want this rifle dead on at 50 yards, so the group is centered in the bullseye. 